Hi there Capricorn. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. See what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have King of Wands, Seven of Sword, Six of Sword, Ace of Cup, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Sword, Sun Energy. All right, so what I'm getting here is your person uh, is moving out of a situation. They're escaping a situation, uh, moving forward, moving out. Uh, they've got gotten themselves out of a situation, uh, whatever that may be. They're a uh, karmic situation, living situation, uh, family situation, something, something they've realized. They're moving forward. They're getting out of their current situation. They finally um, found their confidence or they finally um, said or made up their mind that they're leaving a situation. They're, they're escaping a situation. Um, they're being released here. This um, Eight of Sword energy here, it's like, okay, she's she's caged here, but the cage is open. So I feel like your person is finding um, finding a way out of a situation or they've decided I'm out of here uh, and they're they're coming to uh, a new reality a new beginning they're at a crossroad um, and things are about to change uh, this king of wand energy six of sword yeah they're out of there they're they're moving out of there six of sword here twice uh, movement we're moving forward here uh, we're getting we've made a decision that it's time to make a move and they really don't care uh, what anybody says or thinks or whatever the consequences are or whoever says what you're doing what like maybe people have questioned your person's decisions but that's okay they're, they're on their path here eight of cups is also that um movement card um heading in a, a different direction heading for your wish fulfillment uh eight of cups for me often is that you know heading towards your wish fulfillment which you've always dreamt of um and just going for it like your person's following their own path now they're following um where they're meant to be they're they're going for their own happiness i feel like they're going to tell you something you might be hearing from your person uh i feel like it's it's you your energy that might have helped them transform their life whether you realize it or not there's definitely something they have to tell you because my throat chakra is like seizing right up so it's almost like they can't wait to tell you what they've decided that they've made the decision yeah two of swords is about making that decision and they finally um, have decided to move out of their current situation. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're taking action. They're following their passion here. Moving forward. Page of Swords. Yeah, they're following their ideas. They're following uh, their heart here with this Ace of Cup energy. Eight of Sword again. Yeah, it's like they might have taken them, them a while to get up the, um, I'm going to say balls to leave that their current situation. Uh, something, their own, you know, it's like maybe they're, you know, swords are about thoughts. So, you know, sometimes we think, ah, well, ha, ha, how can I change things? You know, I don't see a way. Uh, but your person has found a way here. They're they're getting out of that situation. They're following their heart here. Yeah, towers. Like, they're blowing up the, their world. Uh, you know, what was is, is crumbling down. And it's okay. In the past, that might have scared them. Like, oh, wow, if I blow up my current situation... You know, that's scary because we're the, you know, sometimes we fear the unknown. But your person is following their heart here. King of Cups. Yeah, they're following their heart. They know that, you know, that's interesting because she's looking, this Two of Wands, 
This two of wands is what your person is most desiring. Two of wands for me is kind of like you that intersection card where your paths meet again and your person is finally confident in their own abilities to uh, make you an offer, to follow their heart here. And it's like you're both you're both looking at the same moon here. You know, you you your worlds are about to collide and you're both like looking up at the moon thinking about each other and yeah it's time it's time to begin here we got the ace of cups here twice it's like well, follow your heart there's a new beginning here and it's unfolding for the two of you eight of pentacles yeah it's like this big transformation your person has been working on transforming their life for quite a while whether you realize that realize it or not or maybe they didn't even realize it maybe it just kind of they had an aha moment like this tower came in you know this tower this is all in their heart space this um Ace of Cup, Eight of Sword, Tower, King of Cups. They're finally like clearing out the fear and just stepping into the unknown, focusing on this transformation. Yeah, this Nine of Wands, they're seeing things differently. There's, um, I love this card because it's, it's, um, you either see swans or you see elephants. Um, and I feel like they're seeing this relationship differently. Maybe they felt like they were stuck in this relationship. Maybe it felt heavy. Maybe they felt like an elephant was sitting on their chest. They couldn't move. But now they've turned into the beautiful swan where they could be graceful and free. And this, you know, nines are coming into your own. Nines are taking back your power here we've gotten away from the eights and we're we're into the nines now two of wands again yeah these cards are duplicating it's themselves like you are meant to meet in the middle and go forth and your person is finally freeing themselves yeah so you can be together so they can you know offer you what you deserve here six of pentacles is the you know, that reciprocity, that equality, equal giving and receiving. What do you need? What do I need? Um, let's offer that to each other. Uh, and it's like meeting in the middle uh, with the two of wands, six of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Yeah, there's big blessings ahead for the two of you. Uh, your person sees it now. There's been some sort of metamorphosis here, setting themselves free. They're tired of fighting for their own freedom here with the five of sword, eight of sword. Uh, and this sun is like lighting the way for them. Wow, look, sun on sun. This is what spirit most wants us to know. Sun on sun. It's like he just... He, you're blessed here. Go for it. Uh, and that's what your person is feeling. Yeah, the Empress. And it's you. You are their heart's desire, regardless of your gender here. It's like you're your person's heart's desire. They're clear in their mind about it. They got the clarity. They let everything else go. Um, and it's it's time to begin is what I'm getting. Wow. Woo. Okay, let's do, let's do a... Uh, White Light Oracle message in closing. Somebody else got the number 44, um, Ishtar's Lion's Gate 888. I can't recall which one. I think maybe Scorpio. I'm not sure. Um, but anyhow, 44 for me is like um, angelic assistance. Like we're being helped from above. Um, so that's good to know. But I'm going to read this number 44 in closing. As your heart has a heightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something very positive. Peace be with you. Bye now.